Due to the coronavirus or COVID-19, there is no hand sanitizer anywhere to be found in any of the shops. But following the World Health Organization's guidelines, you can make your own. So I'll show you how. So what do we need to carry out this task? Well, you need a pair of kind of disposable rubber gloves, a pair of goggles, a bit of eye protection and an old top. And then the sanitizer is actually made up of four components. There is isopropyl alcohol. And this is uh, ideally 99%. Um, you may know it as rubbing alcohol, but isopropyl alcohol is the main uh, constituent. You also need 3% hydrogen peroxide, used in the 70s for dyeing hair. Clearly those days are gone. And glycerine, or as some people call it, glycerol. And finally, some boiled water or distilled water. So how do we mix it and in what quantities? The quantities required are all listed here on the World Health Organization's website. And with these two extracts, hopefully you can see the quantities required. And up here, there should be a link to that World Health Organization web page. If not, then you should be able to see it in the Show More tab down below. So here I am, armed with my gloves, I've got my goggles on, and we're all kind of set to ready to go. Isopropyl alcohol is inflammable, so this isn't the best time to start smoking your pipe or get your cigars out. So no smoking when this stuff is around. And the first thing we need to do is decide on the quantities. Well, I'm going to make up a total quantity of, in metric, 320 millilitres of product. So the first thing I need is 240 millilitres of isopropyl alcohol. So just pouring in the tomato 240 millilitres. 200. Let's have a look. Yep, 240 millilitres. Put the top back on. The next thing I need is hydrogen peroxide. And the quantity required is, very complicated this, a tablespoon. Now, a tablespoon is also 15 millilitres. So I shall pour out 15 millilitres of hydrogen peroxide. Pop the lid back on. The next thing is the glycerine and we need a table, a teaspoon. So there we go, a teaspoon or these small little medicine spoons are the same but I've got one of these little measures I can't hold it with my gloves on. So I need one teaspoon of glycerine. This is a squeeze job and as you can see it's a, um, a sort of very creamy kind of mix this glycerine and then we need to shake it off the spoon. Yep. And then finally, we need to top it, top it up to 320 millilitres with boiled or distilled water. So up to 320. Let's have a look. Yep, 320 millilitres. Give it a stir. And that is the end of it. Of course, we need to get it into some kind of bottle where we can use it. And this is a 100 milliliter little bottle. And so if I pour it into here, it's a kind of good size. And I've also, let me put the lid on that one first, 
found a couple of little 50 milliliter bottles. I'll pop some in there. There we are. So why these bottles? Well, that is a kind of ladies handbag sort of size and you're not going to use these at home, you're going to use them when you're out and about. Um, you, you know, it's, it's obvious that you don't want the virus to come home so when you go shopping or whatever, um, when you get back to your car or whatever, it's, you know, this is the time you want to use these things and clean your hands off. You don't want um, to get this virus, say, on your hands and then you go and scratch your eyes and, and we all come down with it. Um, so it's a kind of a portable system to use when you're out and about. So hopefully these are kind of lady handbag size. Of course, we should know what we're doing, so we need to label them up. And I've made some labels and all it says is hand sanitizer, 75% alcohol. So at least you know what's in the container. The uh, quantities I've quoted here, if you just simply double them up, and then you can just make up a vast, quant vast, a larger quantity of it, because this might only last you a day or two. Um, but to me, it makes absolutely perfect sense. And you don't have to go fighting in your local chemist just in case they get some in. Well, there we have it, the finished item. And I'm sure you've spotted on the TV, they always say that it's the alcohol, obviously, that kills the bacteria. The, um, the hydrogen peroxide is there as a, um, as a, it's almost like a detergent agent. It kills the germs that might be in the water and all your um, containers and that sort of thing. That's what the hydrogen peroxide actually does. Um, and the vegetable oil, I think it makes it kinder on the skin kind of thing, but hey, there we go. But it's the alcohol that, uh, that does the good. What I would like you to do now is I'd like you to share this and um, onto your own Facebook pages or whatever, because we need to get this out into the community that, you know, rather than everyone just, you know, struggle by on these silly wipes that you can't seem to get your hands on um, and, and these wretched, you know, black marketeers trying to make a fortune on eBay flogging off um, sanitizer and we actually don't know what, you don't even know what's in the bottle. Um, so if you can share this, um, on your channels or wherever um, to, your, to your friends and family and in the show more tab below there are links to Amazon of where you can get the products they're not necessarily the cheapest on Amazon so you might need to to fish about um, and you know try and get, judge the quantities right we've no long no idea how long the coronavirus is going to be around um, I happened to have um, the what do you call it whoops um, the isopropyl alcohol here just because model railway kind of guys tend to use it. Um, so I have sort of five liters of the stuff. Um, but buy it on a, it's economies of scale really. You know, if you buy sort of three or four liters, it might see you through, but it could be, this, this virus could be around for six months or whatever. Hopefully um, you've learned something. Um, and so please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And I'll be back later with a model, model railway video again. So thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.